Hey, tonight, a member of San Diego City Council demanding answers on the ongoing billing uh, errors from the city's public utilities department. This after residents in America's finest city say they've gotten water bills that they owe in the thousands. Our Jamie Chambers spoke with Council Member Marnie Von Wilpert and joins us live along the Embarcadero with more on this. Jamie. Kathleen, these bills have been problems for years, going back for years and years, 2018 to be specific, when it got really messy. But one city council member, Marnie Von Wolpert, says that it's become such a problem recently that she walked herself down to the Public Utilities Department, took a tour directly to see just how big of a mess it is. This is the sound of hundreds of pages of angry residents complaining to city councilwoman Marnie Von Wilpert about their water bill experience. 2021 to 2023. And this person's trying to pay. Yes, they're trying to pay. The Public Utilities Department has been struggling to do normal things like get correct bills to residents for decades. But in 2018, smart water meters were added into the equation. And for tens of thousands of San Diegans, Von Wilpert says the bills have been more than just problematic. What is happening in this department? Why are so many of my constituents calling in asking for help? And we are happy to help them. If anybody calls us, we will get them through the system, get their water bill fixed. But you shouldn't have to call your council member to get your water bill resolved. Von Wilpert says one of the major glitches in the system has been the failed smart meters flagging and holding back bills for months, then releasing a huge surprise bill on residents. And when those residents call, they're on hold for sometimes hours. Some ratepayers are so frustrated on hold that they'll physically come to the address where the public utilities are housed. The security guards inside tell me it happens just a handful of times a day. Then they have to tell those folks that they've got the wrong address. They haven't been here for two years. It's just a mess. And so we need to do everything we can to dig out front of this backlog, actually get the customers what they need and make sure their customer service experience is improved. Von Wilpert says at least the phone systems are expecting an upgrade to cut those wait times by September 27th. At this point, we're not turning off water because of all the billing issues. So that is not a concern people have to worry about. Now, there are some issues that are systemic and could take months, maybe even years to unwind so many of the problematic water bills. But some things that the water department, excuse me, the public utilities department is struggling with are some simply changing the address on Google. That should take a day. And that's been two years. And every day, these poor security guards say more and more people come up and complain to them. And they say, look, they're just not here. So let's fix the address first and foremost. That's the very latest from the Embarcadero. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. All right.